Oh my god. My eyes! Hey guys, I'm Hannah and today I'm going to chop as many onions as I can in 10 minutes while also answering your burning questions. Did you ever sneak out of the house when you were younger? <laughs> and then also try not to cry. <laughs> um. Let's do it. My dad is here. Put your hand in. Give a little wave. Oh yeah, look at that luscious hair. He is gonna read the questions for me because we are here in Alabama at my uh, parents' house where I grew up. Hi, I'm Hannah. Welcome to Alabama. How often do you chop onions? Uh, this is the first time for me. I don't really cook. I'm gonna learn. Where would you rank your knife skills on a level from one to 10? I would give it, I would give my knife skills probably a one. I don't know what I'm doing. I've been told that you're supposed to take this off, so I'm gonna take that off. What's the first thing you do when you get up in the morning? The first thing that I do when I wake up in the morning, I try to find the coffee pot. I, I need coffee, I love coffee. What is your favorite TikTok video you've made so far? I just flipped the switch. Flip, flip. I don't know nobody. Probably my favorite is the one of me screaming, um, Hannah Brown, Alabama, and making fun of myself. Hannah Brown, Alabama. I was cleaning up my room here and was taking down the museum that was in my childhood room and had a lot of fun. What's the craziest rumor you've heard about yourself? Uh, I heard I was engaged. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. What is the best candies of all time? Uh, anything sour. Oh, I know. Valentine's Day candy is the best. Um, there are these gummies that are really sour. Um, I think they're by Sweet Tart, and they're so good. But anything sour, I'm a fan of. How many group chats are you currently in, and which one is your favorite? Here's the thing. I don't know how many group chats I'm in, because usually, I love you guys, I mute it, because I can't handle it. So, we're always talking about something, and I can't keep up. I can't keep up with my my real text with one person, much less 20. What's been your favorite part or the silver lining about you staying at home? Well, I moved out to Los Angeles um, this past year, and that's, that's a far away from home, and so it's been good to just spend time with with the fam. Do you have a favorite workout you're into right now? And if so, could you show us? Ooh, I, yes, I love to box. I have like the best trainer ever um, in Los Angeles. And so I love any type of boxing technique learning. I can show you a little bit. There's a two, three, two, three, slip, slip, roll. Two, three, two, Something like that. Who's the last person you called and what did you talk about? <laughs> I don't want to say. Um, actually, oh, my granddaddy. I talked to my granddaddy on the phone. He was just being silly and I got to see him and that was really great. What is the weirdest thing we would find in your car? I'm a hoarder in my car, I'll say that. Oh. There is dental floss everywhere. When did you first realize that you had become famous? I still feel like saying famous is weird, but that people know who I am. When I couldn't like go into the grocery store and stuff here, like people know who I am. And I'm like, like, why are people staring at me? And not in like a, oh, I'm so cool way. More of like a, oh my gosh, like hopefully I didn't like pick a wedgie or, or something. Did you ever sneak out of the house when you were younger? <laughs> um, I was always like a really good girl and like followed the rules, but there, for a boy, I did used to sneak out of my window. But my parents didn't know that until much later. What's your biggest dating pet peeve? <sighs> biggest dating pet peeve. I hate, that. this is what I hate about dating when you just don't know where you stand. I just, I, I'm pretty, I'm pretty honest. I'll say, hey, I don't know 
what's going on, but I don't like the game of it. Like, do we like each other? Great. Well, let's like explore that, but mm -mm, I am too far past the game of it. Either like somebody and it's going to work or it's not. What does your childhood bedroom look like? I actually just did, redid it as I've been home because it was literally a museum of me in there. I had these two shelves with all my different awards and experiences on there. It was kind of creepy. She was pretty excited. <laughs> I'm redoing it right now so that it's more of an adult room. Not that I'm that much of an adult. If you had to cook for a day, what would you make? <laughs> You know, honestly, what I would do is I would order takeout and then put it on a tray. I don't know if I can really make anything that well to where I'm like proud of it. What's a hidden talent of yours most people wouldn't know? Do I have any hidden talents? Uh, you yodel. <laughs> yeah, yodel, 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 I don't yodel. I'm a pretty good lip syncer. I used to be in church choir because I, I can't sing very well. I, I don't know. I don't think. I'm not that talented. <laughs> Have you ever been on a My dating eyes, app? Sir. And if so, what was it like? No, them dating apps won't let me on. Uh. Not sad. <laughs> what are three things that you always have to have in your refrigerator? <laughs> Avocados. <laughs> um, avocados, <laughs> eggs, and berries. Who's the better dancer, your mom or me? <laughs> I would say my dad is the better dancer. His hips don't lie. If you had to relive, relive one of the shows you've been on, which one would it be and why? Okay, that's a hard question because I feel like I, I've loved all the shows that I've been on. Hannah. Because Alabama Hannah is ready for you. Dancing with the Stars, I would have not, no, I wouldn't. I would have done that the same way. <laughs> um, maybe Bachelorette and just like, even though it was like hard sometimes and like hurt my heart some, it also like made me grow so much as a person. and. I, I'm all, I'll always be thankful for that. Red wine or white wine? Oh, I love red wine. I like all wines at this point, <laughs> but I love a good cab. Flaming hot or regular Cheetos? It depends because if I'm in a competition, like you've got to go flaming hot. Honestly, only I'm only gonna eat Cheetos if it's for a competition because one time Dad can attest to this, I threw up Cheetos everywhere, and so I haven't really, um, as a kid, I, I'm not like a huge Cheeto fan, but I'll I'll do it for a competition. Bachelor or bachelorette? <sighs> bachelorette, like being in control. Up oh, and. The time is up. Onions. Oh my god. My eyes. I don't. How, Dad, how bad was this? I, I think I chopped them up pretty good. You did a great job of chopping. Uh, we would need to clean through it a little bit before we would use them and get the rest of the, <laughs> the skins the off. Skin. Well, that was fun. Good luck to whoever has to do this next. Uh, these are happy tears. You'll be fine. And don't forget to subscribe to Delish. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this down now. I'm crying, cause of Anya.